Hi there, my name is Sigvart and I'm from Casprint and welcome to the future of fracture treatment. Fracture treatment has remained the same for almost 200 years. Today, still 90% of all trauma cases are being treated with the same old big, white, heavy and god-awful plaster cast. What's even more troubling is that every one out of three cases have registered a medical complication involving skin, and it shouldn't be like this. So we are solving this with the help of 3D printing by creating 3D printed casts that are lightweight, waterproof, ventilating, and custom made for each patient. But more importantly, we are doing this by integrating ourselves into the current traumatology process in hospitals. Thanks to our cutting edge technology, we have developed an easy to use four step process to be integrated in any given clinic without disrupting the workflow of both doctors and patients alike. And because of this, we can save up to 15% on hospital costs just on fractures alone. So that roughly translates for a typical public hospital for more than 150,000 euros of cost savings of taxpayers' money annually. And these are not just words. We are already working with three private clinics and one public hospital in, back in Latvia. We are also working with the regulator medically certifying our solution. And we are already having our first paid customer. So we charge hospitals an annual subscription fee for the infrastructure to be ready on demand, plus a transaction fee for each produced cast. We will target the global casting market and we are initially concentrating on the top 100 hospitals in the Nordic countries, where over 300,000 fractures occur annually. So this is only possible because our team, our team of specialists in healthcare, business, and technology. Our medical advisor, Datsa Oling, has been the managing director of Roche Finland and Roche Baltics, to name a few. So we envision that this is the past, and this is the future lightweight, waterproof, ventilating, and custom-made. So we are the first 3D printed, end-to-end, -end, fully integrated hospital solution. We are already working with three private clinics and one public hospital, and we have the team to finally introduce this to the market. So we will be raising a seed round in the second quarter of 2018. But if you'd like to know more about our solution, please reach out to us. My name is Sigvart, and I'm from Casperin. Thank you. Great timing, Sigvart. Awesome. It seems like we have another revolution coming from the Baltics. What do you think, Jury? Uh, I like it. I have a wide experience of casts, unfortunately. Yeah, sure. Uh, and we want to feel it. Of course. So two questions. So first one is. Really <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> first one is five days. That sounds like a very long time. Yes. And your question is. Would it will it be that way and why? <laughs> okay. To answer you simply, so uh, when you break your arm, you. Have, your hand is usually swollen, and according to traumatology guidelines, you cannot put a cylinder cast. You can put only a splint from the one side. So what we did is actually, by working with the doctors, is that we provide the scan in the first place, in the first, and because of the limitations of 3D printing, we have necessary time to produce the cast, and once the patient goes back, then the cast already awaits there. Okay, thank you. And the other one then, um, because, 3D printing is quite widely available and increasing. What would stop someone else from doing this? Well, first of all, so as I mentioned, our technology is based on the input of the doctors. So what we are developing at the moment is that what the data doctors provide about casts and so on, so we put input it in as well as in our algorithm to produce this cast, for example, because this is not produced manually by, let's say, designer or something like that. This is actually based on the data provided by the doctor and physics. So we, they can try, of course, but I would like to find them to succeed. <laughs> what is the price comparison versus a traditional plaster cast? So naturally, the price comparison is that this would be a more expensive. 
so it would be a, like a premium. However, what we see is actually that by wearing this, and this is what we are at the moment working on by validating it, that comparing the treatment costs and the rehabilitation, that actually this would decrease the costs by more than 20% for the end user. Maybe a quick one. You have the test uh, hospitals, so yeah. those customers that have been using it, is that real time and yeah. live? So, what's the feedback from those guys? Well, everyone loves it. You're, okay, okay, good answer. <laughs> but, okay. I mean, first of all, waterproof. Come on, it's, you can finally take a shower with it. Okay. That's the first thing what you usually say. The second thing is that, okay, it looks cool, right? So, you can have it in any colors, especially for kids. And, third thing, yeah, for hospitals, so usually what happens is that there have to be certain recasting as well. And that takes time, and time is money. Yes. And were they all public hospitals, or were they private also as test customers? Both. So we are both. testing in both, in private and public hospitals. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so this is actually the third startup doing this I've seen uh, in the last six months. So um, cool. whether you're the first is interesting. But what I want to know is that given that lots of people can do it, why, why just stick with, why are you sticking just to the simple plastic cast. What are you going to do to, to it differently to evolve it? Because lots of people can do, mm -hmm. do that. A scan, 3D print, really yeah. easy. What are you trying to, going to do to make it differentiated in the longer term? OK, thank you for the question. So first of all, because we're integrating ourselves in the hospitals, we are already differentiating. And furthermore, because we are there, we can have future possibilities in terms of rehabilitation application. For example, such as physiotherapy starting earlier because it's removable. You can uh, apply it with, together with other treatments such as ultrasound, electrostimulation, and so on. Then you actually, there are possibilities to actually start using lightweight and materials. The next possibilities and so on. will have to be discussed after this pitch event. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sigvites.